Hey everybody, I hope that you are having a wonderful day. I got fun hair mail in and I have been dying to try this style and this color. And I loved it so much that I legit came straight upstairs and was like, I have to review this wig because I'm just so stinking excited about it. So I've done nothing to this wig. But if any of you follow me um, for any length of time, you know that my absolute ride or die favorite wig is Raquel Welch's On Point. Um, I wear it in Shaded Biscuit. I've been wanting to get more colors of that wig, but Shaded Biscuit has been just my go-to wig. If I'm having a bad hair day in the sense that I'm struggling with my hair loss, I'm frustrated, I don't feel like wearing a wig, but I need to go to work and I need to wear one, that is the wig that I feel most myself in. So I know that I can grab that wig. I don't have to fuss with it. It's a throw on and go style. Um, and I can wear it in all sorts of different ways without fussing too much with it. So it has really just kind of become my go-to everyday wig that just feels me. Um, and there's something to be said for that, right? So On Point has kind of been untouchable for me for basically since I got it. I've had that piece for eight or nine months at this point. Um, so I have always been intrigued by this particular style of wig and this color. Um, so this is Current Events by Raquel Welch. It's in the color Fiery Copper. The color code is RL3129. Um, so this style intrigued me because it was similar to On Point. It's just a slightly longer style than On Point. Um, and I've been intrigued by this color. So the only red that I have experience with um, on in the Raquel Welch line is Shaded Ice Pumpkin Spice, which is an absolutely beautiful color. I actually have it right here on my unfiltered wig. It's an absolutely stunning color, um, but it is very bright. I love it and I will wear it occasionally, but it is one of those um, colors that is not in my natural wheelhouse. I've never been a redhead. My bio hair has always either been dark brown, brown, or blonde. Those are the only shades that I've really um, had experience with. Um, so the fun thing about wigs is I've kind of been able to branch out into colors I never really thought that I could wear. Um, and so this is definitely a color that's not naturally in my wheelhouse, but I love it. I just really have to be in a confident frame of mind that day with my hair loss. So I do really love this color, but it is a very bright coppery red, which I love. It's just not something that I can really wear every single day. Um, and it's such a departure from kind of the other colors that I normally wear on a day to day. So this particular color I had seen on a lot of different um, fellow wig wearers and I have really loved it on other people. So I was really excited to try it out and it did not disappoint, nor has this style. So there are a couple of things that I'm going to um, work on a little bit as I do with pretty much any wig that I get out the gate. So I wanted to show this to you legitimately straight out of the box. I have not changed the zigzag part. I have not touched it with any heat. I have not even really like shaken this wig out. I plopped it on my head and this is what it looks like, which is one of the things that I really love about Raquel Welch wigs is they are the wigs that I can throw on. And other than changing the part, I don't have to really do anything with them, um, which I really love about Raquel Welch. They're just straight out of the box, throw on and go and absolutely stunning. And this one is no different. So um, to give you a little close up of the hairline that Raquel Welch always just kills every single time. She always is so smart with how she does her colors. So that way you don't really have to deal with any knots. Um, the hairline always looks incredibly natural and I just absolutely love this style. So the, um, the measurements on it are 13 inch in the front and crown. It's a little bit um, shorter in the back. So the sides are eight and a quarter. Look from the other side. And then the back is nine and a quarter. So just a super wearable bob, but it has that really kind of sleek A-line feel to it, more so than on point. 
Um, the nape is two and a half inches. So the nape is the little hairs that are going to be touching your neck, which I appreciate a shorter nape. So with um, heat defiance, heat friendly synthetic fibers, the easiest ones to maintain are the ones that are above the shoulder and are straight. Those are the ones that day-to-day -day maintenance is super easy. And then when you really need to get in um, and treat those fibers with heat to get them smoothed out, you don't have to fuss with recurling it, which can be a little tricky if you don't really know how to do it with heat-friendly synthetic um, fibers. But with this, the straight styles, you don't have to worry about that. Um, so I do love those shorter napes and two, it just kind of feels great to not have too much hair on my neck. Um, but super adorable kind of sleek bob. I really love this one. So to kind of tell you what, um, before I show you the cap construction, so I could wear this and be totally happy with it, but I always like to kind of customize my wigs, uh, to make them more my own and how I would naturally wear this style. So what I'm going to do is I'm obviously going to straighten out that part and then I'm just gonna take the flat iron to the ends of this so it's not so curled under um, and just make it a little more uh, of a straight um, end so it doesn't curl under as much and it just is gonna look really cute and sleek, I already know it. Um, but those hairlines on Raquel Welch are just so impeccable. You can totally style this away from your face with great confidence. Um, it's just gonna, I know that this is gonna be a wig that is gonna get a lot of wear. And like I said, this color to me is, um, like I told my husband that I was really excited when I tried this wig on. I was like, it's one of those reds that I like have put on and I'm like, should I be a redhead? Like, do I need to get more styles in this color? I really, really love it. And I feel like it is a very, just, it's not in your face. It's a more kind of subtle auburn red. Um, but I absolutely am just obsessing over this. So I will go ahead and show you the cap construction. And then I'm going to show you how I work with these wigs to make them my own. So let's take a look at the cap construction. Check out that cute hair we got going on. I got hair coming out on me. Okay. So in true Raquel Welch fashion, she has that wonderful temple to temple extended lace front that makes it super easy to style these off of your face and still have that gorgeous natural hairline that you don't have to do anything to um so i always appreciate those about raquel welch she has a wide um, monofilament top these are all hand tied fibers so they are going to be super realistic um, and that is a very generous parting section. So you really have a lot of flexibility if you wanted to move that um, off to a center part. You totally can. You're a little limited if you wanted like a right part, um, but it is a left part. Um, but like I said, you could make this a center part very, very easily. Um, this is the Memory 3 um, cap, which is super comfortable. All of these are silicone lined, so it's going to mold to your head and give you a very custom fit. So it's super comfortable. It has that open wefting, so it's nice and stretchy and breathable. So if you are like me and you have a um, somewhat larger circumference, I have a 21.75 circumference. Um, and so there's sometimes where wigs just feel a little too tight on me. Um, I love this style of wig because it's just super roomy and stretchy, but with the silicone, it just molds to your head, which makes it a very comfortable fit, um, which I really like. Uh, let's see, true to life synthetic fibers. So that just means that these are the, um, Raquel Welch's, um, heat friendly synthetic. So it can be styled however you'd like, as long as you make sure, um, not to go up above a certain degree, which I believe is 350 degrees, but it normally comes with instructions. But how gorgeous is that color? I absolutely love it. It's just such a beautiful auburn color. I'm really, really excited about this. I think I'm going to be ordering it in, um, in other styles because I love it that much. So, so we also have the felt covered ear tabs, which are really comfortable. And then it has the Velcro adjuster, so you can adjust the size to make it tighter, looser, whatever you need to custom fit it to your head. 
does not have a, an extended nape or anything like that. So we will go ahead and I think that's all. I'm not missing anything on it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw this back on and then I'm gonna show you what I'm going to do to style this to make it my own. Always grab it by those ear tabs when you need to adjust it on your head. Don't ever grab it by the actual hair fibers itself because um, we never want to pull those fibers out or pull those hairs out. So always grab it by the ear tabs, but whew, she is a cutie. All right, so let's go ahead and customize this a little bit. I'm not gonna do too much to it, but there are a few things that you can definitely do and you need to do straight out of the box. So don't ever leave that zigzag part in. That is a dead giveaway. Um, of a wig so nobody wears their hair parted like that. I mean we used to I think back in the well, when was that a trend back in the 90s I think it was when we did the zigzag parts. We're not doing that with our wigs. So you can go ahead and you can take a little bit of water and I always just spritz that part line and then I'm just going to take a comb. Typically I do this with one of those rat tail combs um, because it's easier but I left mine downstairs. So we are just gonna make it work with this one. So you wanna straighten out that part and break it up so you don't have that zigzag anymore. Now with this wig, um, I do feel like I need to work with it a bit to make sure that it's not one of those face loppers. It's not too terribly bad, but I know that um, it can be better. So I'm gonna go ahead and work on that as well. And I'm just taking the heat from my hand and kind of pressing um, into that part to keep it in place. So the heat from my hands is gonna help kind of get that to stay down. And then I am going to use my flat iron to kind of work with these fibers a little bit and get them um, out of my face. So let me heat these up and I'll be right back. Okay. So I have two tools that I have heated up that I'm going to be using. So I told you I'm going to be using a flat iron, but because I want to work on kind of getting a little bit of lift away from my face. So that way it doesn't hang in my face at all. Um, this is one of my favorite, favorite tools to use for that. So I always get a hot comb. Um, I use this on my on point. It works really well at getting that really nice lift right here at the root. Um, so get you one of these. I think I got this at TJ Maxx, to be quite honest. It was not expensive, um, but you can find them on Amazon or really anywhere. You don't need anything too expensive. Um, but this is a really great tool to have on hand for your synthetic straight wigs, especially. So I always just take this and I'm basically just brushing those fibers and training them away from my face. I have this set um, at 330 degrees. So make sure that whatever heat tools that you are using on your heat-friendly synthetic wigs, that they have some sort of uh, specific gauge to make sure that you're not using too high of heat on them. So you do not want to go above 350 degrees with, at least with the Raquel Welch wigs, you don't want to go above 350 degrees. So I'm just going to do the same thing to this side over here, just brushing it away from my face to kind of get some lift so it doesn't flop as much. But like I said, look at how well that works just to get you some lift away from your face. So this, like I said, is one of my must have tools if you wear um, straight synthetic wigs. It's also really good for just maintaining those fibers because with these heat friendly synthetics, you really need to give them heat. They need heat or they're going to get really frizzy. So I've seen a lot of women that complain about these particular, um, style of synthetics, the heat friendly synthetics and absolutely hate them and say they don't last. They, you know, turn the garbage basically after, you know, a few weeks and that's just because you're not used to have, having to care for them. They need heat. And so if you don't apply heat, they're going to turn into a tangled, messy, frizzy 
rat's nest and nobody wants that. So you really need to make sure that you understand how to care for these because once you understand how to care for these, they will last you a really long time. Like I said, my on point that I wear probably four to five days a week and I've had her for going on nine months, she still looks incredible. So I'll actually bring it out so I can show you a comparison between the two. But these wigs can really last you as long as you know how to care for them. And the number one thing is to make sure that you're putting heat on them so they stay nice and smooth. So um, this is a really easy tool to have on hand to just make sure that you're keeping those fibers nice and sleek. Okay, so I've done that. Now the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my flat iron. Again, this is set at 350. I don't ever go above 350. And I'm just going to go through those fibers and I'm going to kind of straighten out those ends so they're not so curled under. See, that just to me, it feels a little more me. It feels a little more um, modern and contemporary. Not that the curled under isn't, but this just feels a little more me, which I like. super cute. It's also a really good way um, if you wish that your wig was a little bit longer. This is a really good way to kind of get some a little extra length um, out of your piece. Oh, I'm so obsessed with this you guys. I really really love this. Um, this wig. I love this wig and I love this color. So I am super impressed so far. And I'm really excited to have another piece that's comparable to on point. So I really feel, and I can actually try it right now. Um, but again, a super easy ear tuck piece. I feel like that to me is a very big kind of sticking point. Um, but typically what I love about my on point wigs is having the flexibility to do those ear tucks. And then I also am a huge headband wearer. So see how it looks with a headband. That's always my test. If it looks cute with the headband, this is gonna be a good one. So absolutely love it. It's so stinking cute, you guys. Ah, I'm, this is really fun hair mail. So I'm super excited about it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you kind of the difference between um, this one, current events in my on point wig that, like I said, is my absolute ride or die. I feel like they're going to be really similar. Um, I really, truly think the only difference that I'm going to find is this one maybe like a smidge longer and it doesn't necessarily stack, um, on the sides as much as my on point does, but still super, super cute. And this color is just, it's so good. Okay. So current events, fiery copper. And let's take a look for a quick comparison of my go-to girl. This is on point. Like I said, I've had this piece for almost nine months. Um, so when people say that your heat-friendly synthetics don't last but a few weeks and they're just garbage, they're just not caring for them correctly. Um, and I, I, I hate that because it makes me really sad because I feel like this is such a, um, it's such a more cost efficient and effective way to wear alternative hair without having to shell out thousands of dollars on expensive human hair. Um, and to me, this looks just as realistic as a lot of my human hair pieces, whereas regular non-heat friendly synthetic, I feel like you have to work with a lot more to get it to look like actual hair and not look like Barbie doll hair. Um, that is the only thing about synthetic fibers, regular synthetic fibers, that I'm just not crazy about, to be quite honest, because there is still a little bit of um, unnatural shine to them. And um, so I just feel much more confident in my heat-friendly synthetics. So let's pop this on. So this is um, my on point in shaded biscuit. I'll show you the comparison. So really like I 
I truly think that the only difference that I'm finding is that there's a little bit more kind of like edgy razor cut kind of layers on the side. So it's a little bit more of like a stacked bob um, and severe kind of bob. But as far as the length goes, I really don't look at this and feel like um, it's much shorter than that current events wig. So the um, I did write down the length so I could show you guys or tell you guys the difference in lengths on these. So current events, the front was 13 inches. On this one, the front is 10 and a half inches. So it's a little bit shorter. Um, but like I said, I don't look at this and, and think that it's that much shorter. So it's definitely a wig that you could change in and out. If you're somebody that's looking for a sister style, um, that you can kind of change without people looking at you and thinking that your hair looks completely different. Um, I feel like this is definitely one of those pieces that you could wear with current events and nobody's ever going to know the difference. Um, so like I said, front is 10 and a half. The crown on this is 12 inches. Sides are 10 and a half. And the back is eight inches. So there's a two and a half inch difference um, between the back and the front. So like I said, I really truly feel like it's just a, a matter of how it's cut. It's a little bit more kind of um, stacked bob to me than the current events. The current events feels much more kind of one length and sleek, whereas this has a little bit more um, layering to it. So again, on point, I love it because it's a great ear tuck wig, which when I'm having a bad, um, a bad day, I just don't want to have to fuss with having wig hair in my face. So I really appreciate a good ear tuck wig. And um, where did my headband go? Here it is. So I'll show you this one with a headband as well. So see how it like with the current events when I wear it with a headband, it's kind of like a little more just one length, but with On Point, it has a little bit more of those shorter pieces in it, which I think is super cute with a headband. So that is On Point. This is in the color Shaded Biscuit, which is a fan favorite. It's one of my favorite colors. Um, and this is one of my absolute favorite wigs. I don't know that current events will take the place of my On Point um, in my number one spot, but it is definitely a contender and I'm so excited about it. I'm so excited. So let me go ahead and throw current events back on for one last time to say goodbye to you guys so we can see it. I mean, come on guys, it's so good. Okay, I'm gonna stop yammering on about this wig, but just it, it made my day. It's been a, it's been a rough day. So <laughs> this was, um, this was some fun hair meal to come home to. So current events by Raquel Welch. This is the color fiery copper. Give it a 10 out of 10. Absolutely love it. So I hope that y'all found this helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, I hope that y'all have a wonderful day. Bye.